registered National Working Committee session of Sufi Khanka Association was held, in which national integration, establishment of Dargah Council, establishment of Shia Sufi Unity Forum to prevent possible violence of Pakistani Taliban pattern, reconstruction of Hazrat Fatma's Mazar in Medina city of Saudi Arabia, and resolutions were passed with discussion on the organization expansion of Sufi Khanka Association, protection of prominent national functionaries from radical forces and prevention of harassment of National President Sufi Muhammad Qasir Hassan Majidi by radicals in collaboration with local police. Addressing the media in this regard, National President Sufi Muhammad Qasir Hassan Majidi said that integrated national unification is not possible without Hindu-Muslim unity, which can be possible by spread of Sufi ideology and curtailment of elements spreading extremist ideology detrimental to both secular Islamic values and Hindu-Muslim unity. There is need for upgrading the existing law and keep for rigorous punishment to person responsible for hate speeches and humiliation of religious sentiments which will send a positive message to people of all religions. Controversial statement of the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, who wins political benefits through communal polarization by demolishing tunes under the guise of encroachment-free campaign. All these statements given by Bajrang Dal against the constitution and law, they spoil communal harmony. And the anti-India OIC and IMC get an opportunity to tarnish India's image internationally. The Sufi Khanka Association opposes any such foreign interference and advises these foreign forces not to cross their limits. Because the constitution of India and the people of India are capable enough to deal with such anti-social elements who break the Hindu-Muslim unity. The primary agenda of Pakistan has been attempt towards increased Islamization of India for which they are vigorously engaged in anti-India activities since last Pachahatar Sal. Pakistan has also been continuously trying to defend Shias and Sufis through organized social media initiatives and violence. As such there is a need for formation of combined platform by Shias, Sufis. Because Shias and Sufis are being murdered in Pakistan by creating the kind of atmosphere, Efforts are being made to create the same kind of atmosphere in India. Responding to questions from journalists, Peer Sufi Said Khalid Nakwil Hassini, National Executive Chairman of the Sufi Khanka Association, said that presently majority members of work boards consist of Wahhabist Salafis and Deobandas who are not spreading fundamentalist ideologies in madrasas, masjids being controlled by them but also attempting to gain control over Sufi Dargas Khankas and their masjids. In order to stop the influence of work boards, common mass and religious institutions need to pressurize the Indian government to reorganize to work boards and appoint official therein from all walks of life as well as from Dargah committees to curtail the increasing activities of fundamentalist elements. He said that it is necessary that the government should set up Dargah councils at the national and state levels for the protection of Sufi interests and their work properties. National Vice President of Sufi Khanka Association Sufi Shah Syed Zir Tali Hakani Malan told that it was discussed in the working committee that the global image of India has shown that the country has always canvassed for social parity and harmony amongst different religions of 56 Islamic states including Palestine have faith on the Indian government moreover. The fact that India is presiding G20 summit is a clear indication that during the last no sal the global image of India has gained in strength. The Indian government has also worked in favor of Muslims regarding triple talaq hajj and reformations of Madarasas which is praiseworthy. The Sufi Khanka Association expects the government of India to raise its voice against the government of Saudi Arabia for the reconstruction of the shrine of Hazrat Fatima, the daughter of Prophet Hazrat Muhammad Sahib, in Madinas Janna Churbaki. During the press conference, National Vice President Sufi Shah Sharafat Hussain Chishti said that, in the session of the working committee, apart from expanding the organization, appealed to the government to provide security to the main national office bearers of the Sufi Khanka Association to save them from the wrath of fundamentalists. He told that the Sufi Khanka Association, under the leadership of National President Sufi Muhammad Qasir Hassan Majidi, is continuously working for Hindu-Muslim unity and is fighting against the forces that break the country. But it is surprising that Sufi Qasir Hassan Majidi, who is fighting in the interest of the nation, is being harassed by the policemen of his home district at the behest of the fundamentalist forces, publicly humiliating a Sufi sent by the local policemen, Sufi Khanka Association will not accept. 
we demand action against such corrupt officials from the government of India. In the session MP, General Secretary Jabir Hussain, Secretary Junaid Khan, National Working Committee member from Maharashtra Haji Muhammad Shafi Mitti Shah Malang, Syed Abdul Hanan Chishti, Syed Nusar Chishti Youth General Secretary, State Secretary Noor Baba from Jharkhand, State General Secretary Mumtaz Sharafati, National Working Committee member from Bihar, Baba Zakir Vasi State President from West Bengal Sufi Fayaz Chishti Secretary Sufi Imran Chishti Sufi Ibit Chishti State Secretary from Haryana Afzal Vasi State Secretary from Delhi Zafar Vasi Sam State President Kobadali were present.